What's going on, silencers? Cass here. And today, we're back in Medieval Dynasty. That's right. Uh, I managed to make it back in one piece from last episode. Um, <laughs> so, uh, first thing, it looks like the rot trick worked. So we have 104. Oh, Jesus. That's really heavy. Uh, we have a lot of rot. So we can craft up some uh, fertilizer and whatnot. So that's good to know. Uh, second, we actually, uh, right after I let you go in the last episode, I uh, was running home and I came across bandits. That's right. Bandits are now a thing. Apparently, it's about two seasons that, uh, that you get away with before they start... Um, they start spawning in so now we have to worry about the bandits um let's see what else did i have oops i'm an idiot food there's food food gotta put all of what do you mean it won't let me carry anymore? Freaking cow. What else is in here that I can get rid of? The rot. Get rid of the rot. All right. Oops. Grab that. 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 What the hell? Ross Mears. Oh, just got undressed. Okay. Gonna grab that. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. <laughs> All right, let me put my pants back on really quick. Uh, okay, straw hat, hose, shirt, shoes, and we got ourselves another backpack because it turns out that the bandit camps are pretty badass and full of a ton of stuff that we can use. So, yeah. I mean, we got a stone knife. We got a cudgel. We got a wicker crate and wine, and I used a ton of spears to defeat them. And part of me is kind of wishing that I hadn't uh, turned off the recording now. Son of a bitch, that's twice now. Resource, resource, resource. Food. Food. I wonder if uh, the food lasts longer, if it's in food storage or if it's just available. Whoops. It's just available for um use if it's in those places i don't know um okay so that should be everything let's put these over here and then we're going to discuss a few things i have to uh to talk about with you guys not the least of which is uh my uh <laughs> my ability to read is really bad but don't worry. I'll go over it. I'll go over it. Just let me finish this really quick. No, I don't want the apple back. Put it away. God damn it. Not quite sure why the rot goes in with the food, but you know what? I'm not going to argue with it. That's where the game says it goes. Okay. So we have the broadleaf plantains on us. Now, let me see about sleeping through the night. And uh, how much money do we have? We have zero because I put it away. I'm an idiot. Need the money. Okay, and we don't have like a... Oh, we do have a wooden hammer. Okay. Um, coin, 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 coin. 1,700. <sighs> Time to go to sleep. Radomira, she needs some. My wife needs something. Uh, okay, let's sleep through the night, and then we'll take care of everything she needs. And okay. Hello. Uh, you look like you do some water. I appreciate that. Oh. Cool. I didn't. How is my beautiful wife doing? I'm. Going to be perfectly honest with you, I was sure that women are were generally exaggerating the troubles of pregnancy. What do you mean? A lot of things, but this particular moment, cravings. I've heard about those. Do you have anything specific in mind I could help? What I had in mind was eating Dobbs soup with clay bread. 
which was prob which would probably do a good job of insulating my stomach as well as killing me. But I have more reasonable proposition, at least a little, and that is... I want to experience all the tastes at once. I want my palate to feel violated. This all of a sudden went from a family-rated game to something else. How do you wish to achieve that? Give me a bit of honey, a huge block of salt, and as many onions as you can carry. Aren't you going to be sick after eating all of that? That is one possibility, yes. Uh, I'm not going to comment on that. I'll get what you wish for. Uh, okay. So she's having some pregnancy cravings. Okay, so first thing that I want to talk about is technology. Actually, first thing I want to talk about is skills. Since we leveled up after killing that bear last time, I completely forgot. 10% uh, faster movement while sneaking. Extra resources from animals. Slower durability loss and increases traps. Lock and load is probably where I want to go with this, but I'm going to go with slower durability loss because uh, I go through spears like some of my um, past relationships go through personalities. So uh, <laughs> we're just going to stick with that. All right. Somebody had made mention, I, I don't remember who, so I am very sorry, but a couple of people had made mention that my poor graveyard of trees, all the stumps uh, were kind of disheartening and, you know, they're, they're all over the place and we've deforested this entire area. And yes, we have. However, I have mentioned it, I think just kind of offhand once before, the, uh, the stumps allow the trees to regrow in a year or two. So all these trees will come back. To that end, we actually have, I hope have, I hope I didn't cut it down. There was a tree over here I wanted to keep. God damn it, I cut it down. Okay, so we're going to have to pick another tree because uh, people have uh, wanted us uh, to find a good maple tree like this one right here and we'll wall it off and we'll decorate it. And this will be Treebeard, and it will be the center point of our village, and we'll have, like, our village fire pit over here, um, which takes me to technology. So, uh, again, I do apologize. I will, um, I will do what I did in the last episode or two, where I put up on the screen who is responsible for the tip. Um, hopefully that works for you, because sometimes verbal shoutouts don't work well with my ADHD. Uh, so... There was somebody had mentioned that if we could build the fire pit, the stone fire pit, where the hell is it? Jesus. If we could build the stone fire pit and put benches around it, just like in the other villages, people will sit around it to talk and all that stuff. So now I just need to find the damn thing. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't see. Okay, seriously, where is it? There's the log benches. Mm. Seriously, where the hell is it? Wow, I am struggling. Wooden campfire. We want the stone campfire. The stone campfire. This one. Okay. So we're going to grab the stone campfire. That allows us to build the um, the stone campfire like we see in the villages that everybody sits around. Uh, then we are going to go into the building technology and we want palisades. Now, I had asked in the last episode about the uh, going between palisades and the stone fences. It turns out that the palisades are actually a defensive structure, as in they are tall enough to uh, to deal with bandits and and animals and stuff like that. Uh, that the uh, palisades were tall enough for that and that the stone fences actually aren't tall enough to defend against bandits who have ranged weaponry. So, uh, on top of that, the palisades are a hell of a lot cheaper to build. So we're going to go with that. Then we are going to... Holy shit, why is the wooden bench more than the palisade? Um, 
we are going to look and see what it would take to get a gate. 800. I don't have enough for that. Okay. But we have an absolute ton of logs because, you know, last episode we spent a ton of time cutting down stuff. So I figure we will take a look at doing some kind of defensive perimeter out to this road. Basically, as along this road. Um, probably right up the mountain like this. We'll go up above the fields and around. So it's going to be a big undertaking, and I might do a lot of it off camera. Uh, but I'll show you just the basics of getting it lined up and whatnot. And then, uh, yeah, and we'll get it taken care of like that. Now, uh, let's see. Albretta. We're going to re-manage Albretta. We are going to go to... Pro not production? Extraction? Well... Okay, this is no assignment. Uh, so we are going to assign, assign Albretta to the other well. And then this well should be available for breakdown because we no longer really need that well. I also don't need a bunch of this shit in my inventory. So let me clear out my inventory and then we'll start building palisades. All right, so now we are ready to start on the Palisades. <sighs> first things first, though, let's destroy this. Oops. Perfect. And we can destroy that wash tub, too. Uh, wonderful. Now it... Uh, de -de -de -de. Okay. Whoops. Um, build. There we go. Now let's open up this. We'll go to fences. We'll go to palisades. Oh my god, it does. Oh, this used to be such a pain in the ass to build palisades. This is going to be so nice. Oh, I love it. Okay. We're going to go there. And then we're going to go as close as possible. This is going to be so... So much nicer, so much easier. There are obstacles building the blocking the build site. No, there's not. Shh, just shut up and let me do it. So it used to be that you placed the palisades in like little rows of four. So the palisades would only be about this wide, the two pegs wide. Oh, that was such a pain in the ass for placing palisades. Um, in fact, all of the fences kind of used to be like that. So, this will be much, 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 much easier. Now, obstacles are blocking the build, build site. All right, you cow, come on. I'm going to go right there. And I know it's going to have a little bit of a funkiness to it, but we have to go around the rocks too, so... And where do I want to stop? That's right, I have to worry about the way the road curves. So if we go to here... And then grab there, we should be able to... Just takes a little finagling to get those straight. Hmm. Yeah, let's go to this side of these rocks. Then we'll do... A decorative little corner. And by decorative, I mean... Just doesn't look so ugly as a an actual, like, 90 degree corner. And then we're gonna see exactly how long one of these can be. Move. There we go. Never occurred to me that these might have a maximum limit, but we're going to test that theory. Oh, and it keeps them along the ground, too. That's beautiful. Okay. So there are obstacles building, blocking the build site. Okay, so if we stop here, there's a fox. Screw you, fox. Fox. 
I don't... Oh, that's right. I don't think I was abundantly clear with my words just a moment ago. I said... Screw you, Fox. There we go. You run away. Thank you. Now, what do these require to build? So it requires six logs, but how much is that going to build at a time? Let us take a look. Or break my hammer. Damn it. Some sticks. Ah. Uh. All right, so um, so that was the, the 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 first bit of business was to build the palisades, right? Second bit of business was actually a comment from one of my European uh, subscribers, and that's uh, Matej so Sojka. I'm probably saying that wrong, uh, which is ironic for the whole reason that I'm giving him uh, giving him a shout out. Uh, <laughs> Apparently, I've been pronouncing the names wrong in the game. Now, this uh, game is historically accurate to a point, and uh, one of the things that it is currently uh, really accurate on is... Oh, there we go, eight. Is uh, the names. So if you look down at some of the names, um, I was under the mistaken impression that these were really old English names, but they're not. They're actually uh, Slovenian names, which means I've been pronouncing them wrong. So I called this Hornica, and I called this Jezerica, and Lesnica, and Denica, whatnot. Um, that is based on my mother tongue, American English, being uh, from Latin, where the C and the K are interchangeable. However... In Slovenian, specifically, which is where these names come from, the C is actually pronounced with what I would call just a TS. So it's not Hornica, it's Hornica. And Jezerica, Jezerica. If I understood the um, the video that I, I watched correctly about it. So Denica and Lesnica. Um... Rolnitsa and Branitsa, or Branitsa and Branitsa. Those are all supposed to be Slovenian in pronunciation, so I do apologize if I offended anybody with that. Um, however, uh, I also very much appreciate that uh, somebody called me out on it and taught me. That was uh, awesome, so thank you very much, Matej, for that. Uh, I'm sure I'm pronouncing your name wrong, like I said, ironically. So uh, we are actually low on water and food. So let's go get some water and food really quick and uh, check to see how everything else is doing. We got two people who aren't working. Who's not working? Uh, what the hell do you do? You are in the barn, so you just don't have anything to do right now because I haven't gotten around to the farming stuff. I swear, my people are going to starve to death, and I'm going to be the worst Let's Player in history. <sighs> All right, let's pop this open. We will get a ton of roasted meat. We're actually going to take all that roasted meat. And actually, we're going to take all this meat, too. And a bucket of water. Then we'll um that's right. Gotta just drink the damn thing. Oh, and that bucket of water just broke. Okay. Then we'll eat all that roasted meat and we'll roast up everything else we have. If I ever get that's right. Gotta gotta walk at a diagonal. There we go. We're doing it. We're doing it. Now, the only thing I'm not sure of is our wife asked for honey, and I don't actually know if we have access to honey prior to um, prior to having an apiary ourselves. So I'll have to look around. Definitely going to have to buy the honey, but we'll see. Okay, got that roasted meat up and running. Now we just got to run it back to the food storage so that everybody else doesn't start bitching at me too. <laughs> I hope you guys can hear me all right. I kind of moved my microphone. I'll move it a little little closer, and hopefully that helps a little bit. Okay, so uh, I don't know if I... Oh, no, I did mention it right at the beginning of the episode. So bandits are now a thing. Um, 
Turns out that the grace period is two seasons, typically. And uh, we we surpassed that. So, uh, yeah, we're kind of kind of on the defensive right now. Bandits are really hard to deal with. However, their headshot mechanic is fantastic because it only takes one spear to the face to put them down. Um, and I will go on to... Uh, what the fuck am I doing? Go this way. I will go on to uh, to give you an example of that later. This episode is mostly going to be getting the perimeter at least kind of lined up so you guys know what we're looking at building and uh, and we'll go from there so go here 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 grab this and what obstacle is possibly building blocking that build site is it really is the tree really all that thick or something let's try your obstacles blocking them okay um well we all know the solution to this Well, that was anticlimactic. Fine, be that way. I'll just take you to pieces. And then I got a shovel, I think. Yep. Hey! We got a sewing hut, too. So we can upgrade the sewing hut when we uh, get just a little more time on our hands. So is that the end of the... That's right. Put this up so you can see it a little better. Grab this. There we go. There we go. We're going to run all the way. Oh, what, 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 what? Oh, <laughs> I was standing in the way, I think. Okay, going to go this way. There we go. Jeez, scared the hell out of me, box. Okay, we're going to go all the way up. here as far as it'll let us go because we'll want all of this space for farming so we're going to place come on come on there we go awesome then eh, move over move over there's no obstacles blocking the build site shut up Okay, we only have to get over-ish this, and yes, this might be a little extensive, but uh, I don't care. <laughs> I want to keep my people as safe as possible, so where are my that's my forester's hut right there so i didn't definitely didn't need to go quite that far um i hope this doesn't delete the whole line oh good it doesn't that's awesome um let's discover where we want to put the next piece first so this might have been just a little excessive as far as putting stuff up high because our fields are going to go there, but I suppose we could have a few up here as well. So let's see about putting something more or less like straight down here. So we'll grab one of these, do an offshoot and go straight down the side of the mountain. Uh, that's as sharp of an angle as it's going to let us do. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Okay. So we're going to go back up here, put it right there. Then we're going to grab another one. We'd be able to more or less go straight this way. Uh, 
All right. We got that. Now, ideally, we want to build something over to the hunter shack and around it because we need to keep our people safe. So, go uh, this way. Okay. Going to weave right through those trees. Where's the hunter shack? Right there. Okay, going to put that right there. Makes me wonder if we just built a palisade around this, if the hunter or if the bandits would get stuck inside of it. Agnes, my miner. And I might move their stuff. I didn't realize that this was going to be one of the uh, bandit camps, but we'll see. We'll build up this side of it first, since this is what we're most concerned about. Uh, gonna, yeah, bring these out like this. Gonna go as straight and far as I can. Yep, come this way. Walk this way. Uh... Don't breathe, or you might place it down wrong. <sighs> okay, where? There it is. Okay, so we're right down to the road, almost. Grab this. There. And just follow the road. In fact, uh, I'm not going to let you... Uh, correction. I'm not going to make you guys watch any more of this. I'm going to bring this uh, up along the road. I might speed it up, play some music that was suggested by a couple of my... A um, couple of my uh, subscribers, and we will... Uh, We'll be back in just a minute, so. Just like that, we have a pretty decent wall going the whole way around our property all the way up to the top. Now, I didn't actually do the math, but I do know it's going to be an absolute ton of, uh, of stuff. However, I did have a couple of ideas. Uh, so this is not for any particular uh, value other than aesthetic, I guess. Um, we have the ability to do log gates. We could do a log gate right here. I don't know if the uh, AI can handle a log gate. So until we have enough money for the log gate, we are going to build another palisade. And we are going to build this one. Like this. Now, um, this is just a really old-fashioned... 
uh, traffic barricade that keeps somebody from being able to ride right through at full speed. Uh, I don't know if that's actually going to do anything. However, now we have to pick up, uh, well, more stuff. Not the least of which is we should probably take a bunch of baskets and go to town. However, we also should consider building one of these donkey pens. Now, this is going to be a beast of burden. So putting it down by the gate would make a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, I think so. But we're going to have to remove a couple of things. So I'm going to remove this. Uh, don't actually know if I need this out to do the building stuff, but it'll help, I'm sure. Donkey shelter. Okay, so there it is. Um, I'll gather the materials for this. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna craft a bunch of stuff. Gather the materials for this. Uh, I'll put down the foundation off camera, but then I'll leave the rest of it for, uh, you know, sped up little musical montage, whatever. Um, I'm going to sleep through the night. We'll craft up a bunch of baskets. We'll go to town. We'll sell them. We'll get some honey and whatnot that our wife really wants because she wants 40 onions and four honeycomb and five salt. Okay, that's a lot. However, we'll get it done. We also need to talk to Alwyn. So... Let's sleep through the night. Then we will craft. Um, I'll do the do the donkey. I'm sorry, honey. Go right ahead. We'll craft up as many uh, baskets as we can. Go to town, see if we can rustle up the honeycomb and the onions and all that jazz. And get enough money to maybe do something else. I don't know. I have planks and logs in my inventory. Why do I have Ah, that's right. Because I'm an idiot. And I'm not paying attention. Is this... No, is this... Crafting. There we go. Okay, so we need sticks. Ah, I only have three sticks. Why do I only have three sticks? Ooh, technology. That's right. Um, Well, my ADHD is on a whole other level right now. I just got the sewing hut. Uh, uh, What was I doing? I was going in here to figure out why my woodshed is not producing a lot of sticks though they are producing a lot of sticks okay let's turn down their planks right now go all the way down yes go away now produce way more sticks i guess we're just gonna have to go do a little bit of um because i have some sticks and stuff over here yeah but there's like not enough. Hmm. Let's go do the Alwyn quest and see what he has to say, and we'll go from there. I'll see you in Gustovia. All right. So in Gustovia, let's find Alwyn. Which one are you, Edwin Alwyn? There we go. <clears throat> oh, I can see some fire in those eyes. What are you thinking about so intensively? You are not mistaken. I plan to build an archery target. Do you want to help? Sure. Do I have a choice? I will ignore this question. I can get us to straw without any problems, but we could also use some logs and a hammer to build it. You do not need anything else. I'll be back with the rest. All right. So five wooden logs. You know, I'm pretty sure until the day we finish playing this damn game, I'm going to bitch about that chime. All right, so we got one spruce, which should give us three logs. And we'll get some sticks because we'll need to make a hammer because the one that I have, of course, isn't good enough. Because it's used and we can't use a used hammer on one target. Apparently, I'm covered in shit again. Okay. Uh, got plenty of logs. Let's build that wooden hammer. Yay. Now we need to go talk to Alan. Where'd he go? 
Seriously, you fast bastard, where'd you go? There you are. Don't walk away from me, I'll shoot ya. Sup, dude. Here you go, what's next? I know a good place to build it, follow me. Lead the way. And while you take forever in a day to get there, I'm gonna like treating only the best products here. see if there's any honeycomb. Honeycomb, I only need four. Thank you very much. But I also need my body weight in onions, yes. And I have a ton of salt at home, so I'm not too yeah. worried about that. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Fare thee well. Dude, seriously. I just purchased stuff. I went through a business transaction, and you're still slower than me. Can I still steal stuff from this? Hmm. <gasps> Fine. Being all honest and shit. In a video game. Alright. I swear to God, dude, if you need me to shoot at this target, I don't have any arrows on me. <laughs> And I don't think I can craft arrows in this menu. Negative. Okay. Alright, sup, dude. This is a perfect place. What do you think? Yes, quite suitable. What now? Next, I will practice shooting. If you have time, you can show me how to do it. You'll definitely be better at it. End dialogue. Alright. Oh. Uh, that's right. Decorations. This. Archery target. Uh, the fuck... Oh, he built it. Got it. Hi. All right, my novice archer. Watch and learn. I think 20 meters away from the target will be enough. Show me how it's done. Fine. I don't have any arrows, damn it. <laughs> well, I need to go for a swim anyway. Let's see if we can buy some arrows over there from the, uh, the blacksmith guy that doesn't, you know, do it anymore. I'll be right back with you when I have some arrows. Though I had to run the whole way home to get some arrows, but look, 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 she's fishing! Yeah! I make you be a fishmonger for, you know, not making it easy to marry you. Anyway, I will see you when we're back to kicking Alvin, Alwyn's ass. Alright, here we are back at Gustovia on the shores of, you know, the... Beautiful, beautiful river. What the fuck is that? Ow. Oh, the reeds are not everywhere. Okay, cool. I did not notice. Uh, there he is. Okay, so I gotta show him who's boss at a 20 meters. See how bad my score is. I haven't done this in a while. Nope, I'm not far enough. That's the problem. Am I too far now? Okay. A little too far away. 19.1 meters, okay. That was really low. Right there. And uh, nope. So I have to score. Dude, this kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. It shoots down and to the right a little.
Hey, 69% accuracy. I think that's pretty good. Am I shooting? All right. Let me pick up all my arrows really quick. Okay, I'm just shooting really low. That's all it is. I'm more or less straight on. I just need to shoot higher. The last time I did this quest, I had uh, been much further along technologically in the game, and the crossbow makes this quest really easy. Accuracy, 100%. That's right. I'm just not far enough away. Score, 20.2. Don't mind if I do. Accuracy, 99%. Yeah. That's all it was. I was just a little low. So. Hi. And that's how it's done. If only you were as modest as you were accurate. Well, I can't be both. There's a lot of practice ahead of me. I will train more until I'm ready to face you one more time. Be prepared for an archery tournament when we meet again. I accept it. Until next time, then. <laughs> All right, so he's going to try and kick our asses in the middle of winter. He is in for... Well, I don't know. We'll kick his ass. Don't worry about it. All right, uh, <clears throat> so for the remainder of this, I guess, episode, I am probably going to... Hmm. Actually... I think that's where we're going to call this episode. In this episode, we set up the foundations for the Palisades, and we, um, what do you call it? We did a little bit of Alwyn's quest, and we talked a little bit, and, you know, I apologized for being a complete imbecile and, um, trying to read a Slavic language with a, a Latin background. Uh, <laughs> anyway... Uh, next episode, we're going to probably finish up the Palisades. In fact, I might finish them completely off camera just because, uh, there's a lot. It's six logs per, f uh, one meter section, and we've got a lot of them. So I will probably do most of it off camera. Is this our minor chick again? Yeah, she's doing great. I don't know why she's all the way out here, but whatever. Um, yeah, next episode, we'll do that. We will focus on daubing up and limestoning up a bunch of stuff. So it's probably going to take me for uh, maybe maybe I could do it in two or three days. I'll go through a lot of the axes that I have. But if I cut down a lot of these trees, I should be able to finish most of the palisades up. Um, so the next episode is probably going to be two or three days from now. I'm going to uh, cut as much wood as I can and try and finish as much of the wall as I can. Specifically, we're going to start focusing on the wall over on that side so that those bandits don't cause us too much grief. We're going to... Uh, there it is. We're going to build this donkey shelter. And so next episode, we will finish up the last few strikes on the donkey shelter. We will get a donkey. We will hopefully finish up the palisades and we will focus on upgrading all of the buildings with a uh, daub for the mud ones and limestone for the stone ones and we will start a little bit on some decorations if we can get around to it if we can't um well we'll we'll figure it out so what I'm going to do in between episodes is I'm going to put as much work as I can into the wall. I'm going to make as much daub as I can, and I'm going to change our miners. Where are they? Excavation shed. We're going to go in there, and we are going to tell them that we only want limestone. So turn that all the way down. Turn this all the way up. Actually, bring that down 15%. We'll put a bunch of straw in there, too. Perfect. And then they are short on... What do they need? They need a pickaxe. 
So I'll craft up a couple of pickaxes so that they've got some things that they can work with. And uh, yeah, we will get started on not only beautifying things, but uh, but getting ready for the harsh winter that is ahead of us. So if you did enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all those fun things. Follow me on Twitter. Join me at Discord, where any one of the uh, members of my Discord will tell you it's a hell of a lot more lively than uh, any Discord you've been on, and we do talk all the time. We have tons of fun. I'm in the process of implementing games and, like, movie nights and stuff like that uh, with my... Um, with my uh, members help because i don't know all about that but i'm willing to go for it and if you're wanting to join in on that join me over at discord uh if you want to support me more directly join me at patreon.com forward slash control alt silent like my wonderful patrons have both my silent partners and less silent partners you'll see your names in the credits of the video but thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one.